Hello friends, it's Ria of Cooking with Ria and today it's a Wednesday after work and I'm hanging with my nephew who's teaching me about frogs and I'm filming our dinner of curry chicken and aloo. This recipe is slightly different from the original I posted a while back because of the addition of aloo or potatoes which makes a nice thick gravy that you can enjoy with rice, roti, sada roti, dal curry, dosi roti, or alu roti or bus up shut. I hope you enjoy today's video. If you're interested, let's start cooking. For the simple recipe, you'll need four pounds of chicken and I've used the legs here. To prepare the legs and if you're leaving the skin on, just remove any feathers or undesirables or excess fat. If you wish to remove the skin, grab a hold of the skin with a paper towel and pull down in the opposite direction. To cut it in two, you'll need a cleaver and I'll leave the link to this below. And then you just cut it down the middle. Next, we'll soak the chicken in lime, lemon, juice or vinegar for a minimum of 10 to 15 minutes. Then we'll rub off any slime from each individual piece, rinse several times with clean water and drain. Next, season the chicken with onion, garlic, bandanas, scallions, tomato, pepper, black pepper, pimento pepper, salt, and you can marinate it overnight or several hours. I'm also using a combination of spices, curry powder, duck and goat curry, and cumin. If you don't have duck and goat curry powder, it's quite alright. If you do want to buy it, I'll leave a link below. I'll also be adding a few sprigs of fresh thyme. To start cooking, you'll put a medium, narrow, fairly high pot over medium heat. Add about 4 tablespoons of oil, enough to cover the bottom of the pan. Next, we'll add some of the onion. And the hot pepper. And we'll cook it until it's golden brown. Next we'll add the curry powders. The curry powder, the duck and gold curry, and the jira or cumin. And we'll stir. Stir to cook the curry evenly. Reduce the heat to low. It's very fragrant right now. The aroma of toasted curry and cumin is very strong. And the onions, the fried onions. It's a lovely, vibrant color. Now I'll add water and allow the curry to continue to cook. I'll add a touch of garlic. A little bit of the green onions to continue to flavor this pot. And create the base flavors for this dish. I'm raising the heat to medium.
we want to cook it until the curry separates from the oil and it's grainy. And you can certainly marinate this chicken overnight or a couple of days in the refrigerator or in the freezer. Lovely flavors of garlic, scallion, thyme. So the curry is brown now. And it's grainy. You add the chicken. And you give it a good stir. The heat is on medium. All the extra seasoning from the bowl we'll add to the pot. We continue to stir. For about a good five minutes. We're stir frying it here to develop the flavors. Now we we'll rub this to bring out some of the oils. Now we'll add it to the pot. Time gives curry a really nice flavor. Now I'll cover and reduce the heat to low and allow the chicken to release its natural juices. The chicken has released its juices. I'm just basting it with the curry. I'm going to cover it and let it continue to cook in its own juices. Now we'll check the chicken. Give it a stir, continue to baste, and now is a good time to add the potatoes. Now I'll add the potatoes. I've cut it a little chunky because my teenagers love chunky potatoes. So lovely, smells amazing. I'm gonna cover it and continue to cook. I'm gonna raise the heat to medium. It's been cooking about 20 minutes and it's beginning to stick at the bottom. I'll just give it a nice stir, continue to baste it, this is a good sign that it's cooked through. Mmm, it smells really, really, really good. This is mouth-watering. 
all of the natural juices have almost evaporated. The potatoes are tender. Um, just going to get some hot water to make some sauce. I love picking out these pieces and snacking on it. Anybody else does that? Mm. Give it a taste for salt and add more if required. And now I'll add some hot water to make uh, sauce. About two cups. It's all up to you. How much sauce do you want in this dish? Give it a stir. Clean down the edges. Make sure everything's immersed in the sauce. And the sauce will start thickening. The heat is on low. A gentle simmer. I'll cook it for about 10 minutes more. Just to thicken up the sauce and I'll add something green. Give it a proper color and some freshness. And on all those flavors from the side. I just can't wait to dig in. Get some rice and a nice salad and maybe a hot pepper on the side, a raw hot pepper. That's how I love eating this. Continue to baste. Continue to baste and taste. There's nothing wrong with tasting. Okay, I'm going to cover it and let it simmer for 10 minutes. Chicken, the curry chicken has been simmering for five or ten minutes. The sauce is nice and thick. Mm. The aroma is irresistible. And I'll just finish off with the scallions and the chopped pimentos. Taste with salt. It's perfect. And that's it. Caribbean Trini Curry Chicken with lots of gravy and some nice chunky potatoes. That sauce is really delicious. So tasty. I can't wait to dig in. I hope you give this recipe a try. And that's it for today, my friends. I appreciate you watching till the end. If you have enjoyed seeing me cook or have learned something new, please give me a thumbs up, share this video with your family and friends, subscribe for more. Do leave me a lovely comment below. And if you've tried any of my recipes, tag me on social media. Until next time, bye bye.